Hi everyone, this is Kevin with Elite Cosplay, and today we're going to talk about focal length. Um, basically, what focal length is, is how easy a lens converges or diverges lights. Uh, when I talk about different zoom lengths and different numbers, um, it's referring to the number that you'll see on your camera barrel here. Uh, so there are three general types, well actually before we start, um, there's one general, or one general rule that you need to know. It's that the lower the number, the wider the lens is going to be, the bigger field of view you're going to have. And the higher the number, the tighter the picture and the more narrow field of view you'll have. So uh, on the, big, the low number end, the wide end, we call those wide angle lenses. And that generally refers to anything that has a focal length less than uh, about 40 millimeters on a full frame body and about less and less than 28 millimeters on a crop sensor body. Um, wide angle lenses are useful in landscape photography and in uh, architecture and reality pho photography. It helps show the entire context of everything. It shows a big background. It kind of stretches everything out and gives you the full picture. Um, it's useful also when you want to represent, uh, when you want to show the environment. Um, the next group up from that is called normal lenses, and this ranges from 40 to 58 millimeters on a full frame body, and about 28 to about 37 millimeters on a crop sensor. This is called normal, the, this group of lenses, or this focal length is called normal, because it represents what your eye can see, so it's normally what you see. And this is useful for just daily photography, kind of representing things as they are. Um, the next group up from that is called telephoto lenses. And these have just a zoom range that's greater than the 58 millimeters on a full frame and greater than 37 millimeters on a crop sensor. Uh, this focal length is good for portrait photography or when you want to isolate subjects out of an environment um, and just really pull up close and just emphasize them. Uh, this, when you're using telephoto lenses, the one thing you have to remember is that it compresses images. Um, and not the file on the card, but the actual detail. So it's good for portraiture because it kind of flattens out the face and it makes everything kind of look nicer and more beautiful. Um, and usually portraiture uses the 85 to about 105 to 135 millimeter range. So that's good to know when you're taking portraits. Now that I've explained what each of these focal lengths do, uh, let's go explain what stretching the image with the wide angle lens or what compressing the background with a telephoto lens looks like. Let's go take these pictures. All right, so let's go take a look at these pictures now. So this first picture here is a 24, taken at 24 millimeters. Uh, I just want you to take note of where everything is and kind of the perspective of, every, of everything. Uh, you have the red ball behind the brown ball, you have the blue bottle and the lamp in the background against the wall, and you have the foreground of the desk and the lines. Uh, the next image is the 70 millimeter image. You can see the edge of the table now, but you'll notice that the red ball and the brown ball seem a little bit closer, and so does the background elements such as the bottle and the lamp. And you'll also notice that the front edge of the desk is now visible, but you can see that it feels like the distance from the edge to the ball is a lot less than what was in the 24. And don't worry, uh, there'll be a composite shot at the end, and it'll just show the comparison of these three. Uh, and then the last frame here, this is the 200 millimeter zoom. Uh, it's a little crooked, but it was the best shot that I got out of it. Um, but you can kind of see in the bottom right hand corner, there's the edge of the desk. And in this picture, it looks like it's even shorter than the seven millimeter picture, 70 millimeter picture. The ball and everything else in the background also seems squished up and a lot closer. Uh, and here in the composite shot, you can see all three images next to each other. You can see how uh, the background elements seem to move forward and the foreground elements seem to push back and just kind of compress as we go up in the zoom range. Alright, so now that you know what the different focal lengths do, it's time for your assignment. So I want you to take uh, your kit lens and take one picture at the lowest focal length, so it's probably going to be somewhere in the 18 millimeter range, and make it interesting, really emphasize the stretch on something. Uh, and one helpful tip for that is to get really close to the subject. Uh, the other photo of this assignment is going to take a uh, t zoomed up photo. So 
move the focal length all the way to the other end, or if you have a telephoto lens, set it to the maximum zoom you can and go take a picture of either the same subject and show the compression of the background like I did with mine, or take a different subject picture, like a portrait or something, and show it, show it to us. So remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the rest of the videos and like us on Facebook. Um, I've put the details for the Flickr to upload the images in the description below.